Welcome back everybody to another video. We're down here again on the old nursery property. It seems to be the only place I'm seeing deer right now. So I figured let's hunt it. I want to give a special shout out to Tidewe. I've partnered with them this year. You're going to be seeing a couple of their products on my channel this year. This is something I don't normally do, but when they reached out to me, I checked them out. Their stuff's very reasonable. These boots, which I have linked down in the description down below, along with their main website, these boots are under $100, and they're insulated. I don't really need the insulation right now, but in a couple weeks, I most definitely will be thankful that I got the ones that have insulation. So be sure to check them out down below, and please, by all means, support the brands that are willing to support me. I'm just a maintenance guy that has a little bit of private property to hunt. Thank you so much to Tidewe for reaching out to me and willing to essentially sponsor me in some kind of a way with some really awesome products. And I got some more back of the house that I'm going to be sharing with you guys throughout the rest of the season. Now, as you guys can tell, I have worn these boots two times. And honestly, they're kind of like wearing slippers. They're really comfortable. I'm a big croc guy. I like my crocs. These are just as comfortable as my crocs are. I could get away with my wife letting me wear them in the house probably would where we're gonna be hunting tonight you can actually see it from the truck yeah a real tall tree right there that's the tree we're hunting out of tonight we just gotta get there as quietly as possible hopefully I will see you guys in the tree It's probably four o'clock. Yeah, three fifty-five. So I'm not expecting a whole lot. I just want to see some deer. I might get the bow up here, get nestled in. Hopefully, have a good night, seeing some deer. Or and <clears throat> before I forget to tell you guys, or a coyote. And you better believe I will be taking all of my arrows and shooting them the coyote. Coyote showed up Sunday at 11.30, I believe it was. Definitely don't want them around. The farmer, which is just to the west of us, they hunt them pretty hard. And I believe they've gotten four or five coyotes just last year.
He's got to be close though. I'm only going to have like 15 minutes of shooting light left. He's somewhere over there. And that's the first picture of a buck in daylight on this property. Well, it's it's pretty much the end of my night. I'm going to come back here and on here again. So I will see you guys in the morning. say that was a surprise is an understatement. Southwind, back of the 
parking lot, I had tested the wind, and it was coming right out of the south. Now in here, it might, might end up being different. Right now, it's blowing to the east. As long as it doesn't blow from the north and blow back behind me, we'll be good. Because I think the deer are bedded down behind me somewhere. So, that's the plan for the night. I checked the camera down there. There was no buck activity on the camera doe coming through in the evenings. But I'll take anything I can right now with this crappy weather we've had. idea where those deer came from. Just out of the corner of my eye, I see some movement over there. That's the downfall of this stand. When there's so much leaves still on the tree. out right now. I can't hear anything. But I'm guessing they crossed the creek and going out to feed for the evening. But yeah, I mean, I guess we're going to have to call this stand the sleeper stand. Because man, if I'm playing on my phone or doing anything other than paying attention, you could forget about seeing anything. Because they crossed the creek. Never heard them. I mean, they were, I don't know, 20 yards. Never heard them. They're sneaky. Like 17 yards. They crossed in front of me. Never heard them. That's crazy. I don't have surface here, I guess. Now, if it was late October, November, I'd be having the bow in my hand ready, assuming a buck is going to be following them. But it's too early for that stuff yet. <laughs> 